आंध्र प्रदेश को विशेष राज्य का दर्जा तो नहीं मिला लेकिन केंद्र सरकार ने स्पेशल पैकेज देने का ऐलान जरूर कर दिया केंद्र ने आंध्र प्रदेश के लिए जिस विशेष पैकेज का ऐलान किया है उसमें पोलावरम सिंचाई परियोजना का पूरा खर्च उठाना कर रियायतें देना और विशेष सहायता देना शामिल है मुख्यमंत्री एन चंद्रबाबू नायडू ने वित्तीय पैकेज की केंद्रीय वित्त मंत्री अरुण जेटली की घोषणा का स्वागत किया है वित्त मंत्री जेटली ने आंध्र प्रदेश विधानसभा की बैठक से कुछ घंटे पहले बुधवार को देर रात प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में कहा कि जुलाई 2014 में अलग राज्य तेलंगाना के गठन के कारण वित्तीय रूप ऐसी नुकसान झेलने वाले आंध्र प्रदेश को एक रेलवे जोन मिलेगा और केंद्र पोलावरम परियोजना के सिंचाई सम्बन्धी हिस्से का सारा खर्चा उस तारीख ऐसी वहन करेगा जब एक अप्रैल 2014 को इसे राष्ट्रीय परियोजना घोषित किया गया था लेकिन ये परियोजना राज्य सरकार लागू करेगी documents on which it is based now as far as uh, the andhra pradesh reorganization act is concerned the government has decided in principle and we have repeatedly said so that every commitment made in the act in letter and spirit is to be honored by the central government already we have released uh, on account a sum of rupees 3975.5 crores towards revenue deficit of the year 2014-15 this is only part of the amount the balance amount also would be released in installments we have already given 2 and 1/2 thousand crores uh, as support for the state capital a further amount of 1050 has been given for backward area grants there is a whole list of several institutions central institutions which have to be established in andhra pradesh one by one each one of the institutions uh, has either started functioning or will start function and we stand committed to that the polavaram project that is the irrigation part of the project has been declared a national project and therefore uh, as on 14 2014 from which date it becomes uh, the national project the funding from that date onwards is going to be met by the central government now what is the process of funding will be decided one process is that nabard would fund it and we'll return the loan back to nabard the, the future after 14 2014 14 will be 100% because that is the date on which it becomes a national project we have further decided that on behalf of the central government we will authorize the state government to do the construction part because the state has an interest in the project now this is a very major announcement because uh, polavaram was one of the issues which was concerned with the act itself and uh, from the date when it is declared a national project its entire funding would be as of 14 2014 whatever is the funding fix will be met by the central government what will be the estimated cost well that that you see keep uh, there are there are various calculations uh we are more on the principles i'm not uh, there is a whole list of institutions which have already started and some which have to start assessments will be made with regard to them uh then comes the 14th finance commission which has uh, also made some uh, recommendations with regard to the revenue deficit now that is with regard to revenue deficit from 
till 2020. That is being revenue deficit for the first two years, it's being paid up to date. So whatever is the identified revenue deficit is being paid. And of course, the 42% share is also being paid. There were two tax concessions which we have announced. One with regard to accelerated uh, depreciation and one with regard to the investment allowance and the CBDT chairperson is here, the relevant notifications with regard to them are going to be issued forthwith. Then comes the issue with regard to the statement made by Dr. Manmohan Singh, who on uh, 20th of February 2014 had made a statement after Venkayaji and I had raised this issue in the Rajya Sabha, and that was in six parts. Now, five of those are really clarifications which are covered by the Act itself. There is no dispute which are going to be implemented. With regard to the sixth, a legitimate dispute or an issue had arisen, because after the statement came the report of the 14th Finance Commission, which said that only special dispensation for hill states and northeast states and all others are to be compensated only by way of uh, the additional revenue grant if there is a shortfall and by the horizontal uh, sharing of 42 percent so 42 plus revenue deficit will take care of it that's what the finance commission said and we are only saying special uh, uh, provision only with regard to northeast and the hill states. Now there was an understandable aspiration of the people of Andhra Pradesh that uh, on the understanding that a certain special category would be given to us, we agreed to this and subsequently the 14th Finance Commission has come which has said that nobody gets special category that ceases to exist. We have quoted in our note uh, the relevant observations of the 14th Finance Commission. Now, without getting further into the issue, we examined this. And since the advantage of what uh, they get by virtue of uh, the former Prime Minister's statement is a monetary advantage that you get because of the status, that you get a particular, uh, 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 the centre has to bear a higher share in the schemes of the state, we have decided to give a special assistance measure for the state of Andhra Pradesh wherein an amount equivalent to what they would have got if that statement could have been implemented will be compensated to the state by virtue of externally aided program projects that all projects which come into Andhra Pradesh which are externally aided, which otherwise the state would have paid for, the, the word we used is an equivalent advantage to the state which they would have got because if that statement could have been implemented, we will give them an exact equivalent advantage through the externally aided projects so that in spirit at least we are able to honour the substance of that statement of 20th February also, even though, as per the Finance Commission's report, those category of states now ceases to exist. This is what we have decided, and of course, this will also be in terms of what the fourth, that is the recommendations which have been made by the Niti Aayog, uh, which has concerned itself with regard to specific calculations, etc. Now, since it is quite late, uh, and we have worked out this arrangement, uh, we will uh, uh, be loading tomorrow morning a detailed note giving details of all this uh, on the website. Now, this will be subject to, of course, uh, its ratification wherever required by the central cabinet itself, because that's a procedural formality which we have to follow. No, this goes on for a period of five years. Because you see that uh, 
special category was to be for a period of five years. That is the life of the 14th Finance Commission. Well, that's all right because it, it was made for five years, so we'll give an equivalent for five years. And then there are several other issues, uh, uh, some of which which are under examination, the concerned ministries, the railway zone issue, uh, 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 the steel plant issue, the home ministry's uh, decision with regard to the delimitation of constituencies, those changes which are to be made. There are several other issues which are under consideration. So I think for today, what I have announced is enough. These are all matters being considered uh, at, by different ministries, which will take uh, a specific view in the matter. No, tax incentives which we have given already, the notification with regard to that uh, will be issued immediately by the CBDT.